Welcome to Survival Training, gentlemen. My name's Thomas Coyne, and over the next 24 hours, I'm gonna be training you four. And if you don't perform, you will die. Why are we here? So History Channel's new show alone challenges us to try and survive in the woods with no outside help. We're gonna be by ourselves? No. What I always tell people is you don't fail until you quit or die. And dying is just the body's quitting. If you think about it, we could experience an apocalyptic event at any point. Who's the cutest? Me. I think Keith is gonna be smarter about this. I got a shoe, but it's got a hole in it. So I see you have a cook. Can I, can I have a bite of that? Yeah, it's cool. yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> We're not gonna need things like that. Can I see that backpack too? My Boy Scout troop would always bring bacon. That's the Boy Scout's motto, be prepared. That's cool, here. I'll be your Boy Scout handbook. I'm not prepared for this at all. I I'm concerned about finding food. I'm excited to kill something. Maybe I'll be good at whittling. What I'm most worried about is the other Try Guys because you never know what's gonna happen when you're all alone. First things first is fire. There's many ways to make fires. This is by far the most difficult, the friction fire. Whoa! Now, I want this ash. I want to save this. Some good ash. What I'm going to do. <laughs> Yay! The number one killer in wilderness survival is exposure, being too hot or too cold for too long. So you're making a bed not for comfort, but so that the ground doesn't freeze yeah. you to death. First, we want to size this. I want it hip high. Is that foremost point where you stick the head of a prized animal to like ward off yeah. other survivors? Other survivors? Do you want like help? Do you want? Yeah, I don't. I feel kind of bad. Yeah, yeah let's let's do it. Put sticks on sticks. Or is this where we go like a cooking show and it's just like ding and now it's done. And it's done. Yeah, that's looking pretty good, guys. But I don't think. No! It's done. no! From there, we'll do water purification and location. Giardia and Cryptosporium are the two most common illnesses in, the, in water in the wilderness. Man, fuck Giardia. Right? But this is operated really simply. Uh, looks like you're peeing. That's fun. What do I do when I have to poop? Yeah, that's a thing, right? You start to build up monkey butt. Get that monkey butt. Get that monkey butt. So we have pools like this. That's the best place to find fish in these mountain rivers. And you know, not every stream has fish. These greens aren't necessarily high in calorie, but they're high in nutrients. This tastes like a plant. Ants are always edible. Great protein, real tasty. Mm. And you still alive when you eat it? Yeah, yeah. Crawling around in your mouth? No, he dies instantly it's when I crush him in my mouth. Three, two, one. Okay. okay, so I guess this is it. All right, guys, time for the real thing. So my prediction is that Keith and Zach will die. Why are we doing this? Ned and I might have to harvest their bodies for food. I'm really excited. Keith, I think, is tastier. Keith's gonna kill us. <laughs> so I have some packs here for you. Basically everything you need and maybe even some things you don't. I'll give you guys all this, and I just want you guys now to empty your pocket. I was planning on calling my wife. That's cool. Okay. Uh, now this is everything. This is at, yeah. How many cookies do you have? So now we're going to give you each a little camera to film your experiences. Okay, yay. So we don't really want uh, you guys helping each other out and giving each other any moral support. So you know what it's like to feel alone. I'll be by in the morning to pick you or your body up. Mm -hmm. Just remember, nature hates you and wants you dead. Three, two, one, go. Okay, 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 okay. F you, Ned. F you, F you, Eugene. Can I have a hug before? Yeah, yeah I want a hug. Here. Okay. Oh, survive. Don't die. Take care. I'll see you or your body in the morning. Okay. Bye, Keith. Bye, Zach. Bye, crew. Man, this is dumb. Do I have to go this way? Yes. Okay. This is stupid. Okay. And here we go. Welcome to paradise. Oh, we're gonna die. Found a nice spot over here. I think I'm gonna nail this. I don't wanna do this. This is the worst. I can definitely live here for a long time. I don't know how I got here. Fire starters don't need those. I got a ropey thing. I don't think they gave me rope. How am I gonna make anything? Look at this. Somebody's already done all my work. And what idiot is gonna build a whole new teepee thing <laughs> when you already found one? I'm just the best survivalist. I guess I could use my shoelaces rope. Imagine if you wore Velcro today. I'd be fucking dead. I got one more thing in here. Puppy stickers? Okay, good, there are cats on there too. Kazoos for days. <laughs> if you need to save me, I'll be surrounded by festive colors. I'll call her Stacy the Elephant. What do you think we should do first, T-Rex? 
build a fire. I know I should probably be working on a fire first, but I'm gonna look at these stickers and I'm gonna go take a poop. Be prepared, think positive. Ugh, I'm ready. It's just like slicing up. Flies! Look at this fucking dragonfly's doing it. Oh, look at him go. Oh no, I messed it up. That is a shelter. Stacy, nice knowing you. We're gonna go hunting. Here we go. And I'm gonna go poop. Goodbye. I feel like it's too tight now. Yeah! Oh yeah. Fuck you, trees! I forgot to get anything to wipe with. Oh, I wish my wife were here. No, that is really rough. That is bad for butt. Once I get this bed down, I might switch gears and go to the fire. Got it. Forgot it. I have no idea if I'm doing this not right. I brought it. Even in nature, I'm taking off my clothes. Woo! That is fucking cool. Ooh, and it's wet inside. It was like a wet wipe. Got creates, man. Time to wipe my butt with a plant. Man creates spear. Man kills fish with spear. Leaves, not a good way to wipe your butt. Uh, fishing attempt one failed because there was not many fish. It's not too hard to get water. I'm so over this, but I just want to get it. Shout out all my strength, pretty much. A pretty successful poop, and quite a beautiful place to do it, actually. Ah! What fun it is in the forest! Everyone's having a grand time in the forest. No one told me how fing boring this was gonna be. So, fishing was a bust. And I still haven't made a shelter yet. Got my super cool campground. This is where I'm gonna make a home. Maybe I'll give it another go after I get some water. First thing first, don't want bears to attack me. So I'm just gonna make a pee perimeter. The only victory so far is squeezing water into my mouth. I've accomplished nothing. Time to build a shelter. There's a dam in the river and it has just a bunch of sticks on it. All the stuff that he told us to make a bed out of is down by the river and I'm like nowhere near a river. Yeah. Ned's just probably <laughs> running around screaming what's up at plants. Oh, what you want, what? Eugene at this point has to strip down and try to become nature. Come play a game of can I eat you? Can I eat you? And God, I just hope Zach's not dead. Yeah, this is pretty uncomfortable. There's also some just abandoned sheet metal. Oh no! <laughs> I miss my wife, dinosaur. I have no f***ing clue what that is. Guess I'm just gonna start. Cat and puppy stickers. Worthless, right? Wrong. I used them as tape. I'm crushing this. I'm building a junkyard right in front of everybody's f***ing eyes. That looks poisonous, that looks poisonous. Zach, did you just build a badass shelter? Hell yeah, you did. You want a little tasty treat of some water? Hell yeah, you do. No Giardia today, mon frere. No, 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 no! Look how pretty this is. This is great, nature's awesome. That is nasty. Oh, I found mint. F***ing Zach saves the day. So I'm just gonna assume that this is edible. Ow, ow, why does it hurt me? Oh, and make sure you cut your hand immediately on the plant. Ow! I thought it was mint, I was wrong, and I got a boo-boo on my finger. It's not how I thought I'd be spending my dinner. This is everything that humans were designed to do, but it's actually really difficult. But you gotta keep your chin up, because I put the camera up there. Looks like the sun's about to go down. Fire time. This is so much harder than it looks on TV. Come on. Come on. Oh, f So close. I tried making this wooden crayon, but I lost the rope, so f it. F me. I have this flint. When you touch it, it makes a spark. That's fucking cool already. Oh, oh my god. Whoa! I got smoke. You take this cube and you chop it up, and it looks like this little pile of cocaine. The cube does seem to be on fire on the package. It's not working. Okay, what do I do? Come on, baby. Light for me. This might be an important time to mention I've never used flint before. I don't know, let's see what happens. <laughs> Come on. You got this. You got this. Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. that's a fire. Yes, yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> you guys, I made a fire. The fire cube has come through. Ah! Fire! Look how big that is. Look what daddy made. I built that fire. Woo! This is the greatest day of my life. No matter what, life will prevail with the fire cube. And no one will stop me with my tiny cube of potential fire at night. I will be strong.
I will not give up the fight. That feels amazing. That was one of the satisfying things I've ever done. I don't know. I'm really proud of myself. I'd say I'm the shittiest survivor there is. I think everything would be so much better if I just had the other guys. Hope my friends aren't dead. Just uh, woke up. I drank pee last night in the dark. Gotcha, acorns. I miss coffee so much. I just want to go home. Uh, I don't quite know the proper way to extinguish a fire. It's like I gotta do this shit all over again. If I had to do this for another day, I would lose my fucking mind. Now that I'm more rooming This is my lawn. How many kazoos can you play at once? I found this beetle. It's the thing I absolutely didn't want to eat yesterday. I found a gun. Oh, Ned. Time to try and find the other people. Hey, Ned. I found a gun. I found, I found a gun. I'm sorry, guy. Oh. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back together. We are one on one with nature. Eugene, don't step in my poop. What? His name is Keith. No, it's. Oh, I thought oh, you were no, telling I'm me. I'm talking to him. So oh, that's right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Mark it with an X. Yeah, that way I don't step on. Look at that. No, don't, yeah. no, 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 no. You don't have to shoot it. Save me. Are you sure this is the way back? Which means if we're coming back. We should need to go this direction. There they are! There they are! Oh, they're there! Thomas! So tell me, how do you think it went? Yes. First, you have dumb luck. That's Keith. <laughs> the point is, I'll take dumb luck over skill any day. Now, on the opposite end of that spectrum, critical thinking is key to this. How would Keith have died? What I would say is hypothermia. Aww. Seeking training and using it. That's exceptional. That's exactly what I want to see. Oh, f yeah, bro. Oh, guys, okay. let's do another cool. night tonight. A an emotional intensity can be great out here. However, once it gets the, to the negative range, it can be in the end what takes you out. <laughs> the ups is giving it all you got all the time until you succeed. However, when you're out here alone, the acceptability of risk changes. If you would have slipped and hit your head, that risk taking might be the end of you. Stab y'all motherfuckers in the face. I'm a motherfucker now. So once you find yourself lost in the woods, the best thing you should do is stop, think, observe, plan, and prioritize. Poop. Hygiene is kind of a big deal if you're gonna be there a while. How would I have died? The urine and fecal matter build up around the camp can lead to disease, things like that. Literally sleeping in a ring of my own piss. Is not the best idea. What we learned here today was how to survive. When it comes down to it, if there was an apocalypse and there were zombies. There's not gonna be zombies. Maybe if there were zombies. Pack cookies. If nothing else, pack cookies. Yeah, I guess Ned was right. The Boy Scout motto of being prepared is probably the best thing you can do. Be prepared. Get the f away from me, Ned. Yeah! It is a lot harder than they make it out to seem in Boy Scouts. If your life depends on it, you really need to have your technique down solid. I have totally found respect for survivalists. I think what they do is unbelievable, and the skills that they have are skills that Probably everyone should try and learn. Can we do a hug? Let's do a yeah. high five. Yeah. So, Coin, you would get coffee with us, but would you uh, be stranded with us? Oh, definitely. I could put oh. you four to work. Oh. We win. Yeah. We win. Yeah. We win. 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 We win